today is day 11, Saturday, August 28th. We stayed at the Mary back there. And, uh, my plans were to hit about so many buses and ferries to try to get to Tom Burberry. But I looked at it from every route, I couldn't figure out how to do it. I couldn't get the ferries or the buses to move. So I decided to go back across uh, to Ullapool and stay there because it's very similar and listen to some music tonight then get up early and head back into Edinburgh probably rent a car so that I can do the last couple of things I'll stay at Melrose by Melrose Abbey tomorrow night then get back up even earlier like at 2 in the morning and get to the airport to fly home so I got two more nights to co-ed in my room like six beds there was living like a turtle carrying my home around with me for two weeks one of them is a little cafe restaurant but I've only got like 10 minutes so I'm gonna have a cup of coffee and look around their gift shop Wow. Jump ropes. I thought about getting a walking stick for when I went hiking. Too late now. Fidelity, that means welcome. skyline over there is called the reclining woman Let's see if you can see the kind of the face on the right there's a big rock out get that out of the way but uh, up on the right there's her face and then her body and her leg came about a thousand years later took this apart started doing uh, cultivating 
cultivating the land again. And then about 25 years ago, we made it into the historical site so that nobody could bother them. But why it was originally here, at the time of the pyramids, it would really be cool to go back in time 5,000 years ago to see the people here, what they look like. And their whole lives came and went. They had children, and then they died. Another generation came, another generation went. It was forgotten for so long that when they came back here to start cultivating the land at one point, the peat was about a meter deep. That much time had passed, so they had to pull all the peat away. that when the stones were first put in 5,000 years ago, they could plant barley and grains on these hills, which can't be done now, it's too cold. The sea level has gone down. Sometimes in life, you, you really ought to have uh, let nature. Uh, nature's the best. Sometimes people get overcomplicated with food and so on. The key element with any seafood, especially seafood, is is how fresh is it? Is it fresh? It's a little town of Stornoway on the Isle of Lewis. We're we'll leaving here in just a few more minutes.
spent mostly a day traveling. But I'm in Inverness. Going to get on a last train to Glasgow. Stopped at Gellion's one more time to get a beer and a scotch. I've been traveling today for over 12 hours. From cab to ferry to bus to train. And it's dark outside. I still think when I get to Glasgow, as long as I can find a place to check in, I'm going out for a little while. I am in the scummiest, most nasty place I have ever seen to stay. When I got to the Glasgow hostel, they had no room. She called so many places. She finally sent me to a place. I just walked, I'd say, 15 minutes through bad parts of town to a place that is, when I went in, it was like three feet wide with four or five Russian guys drunk off their butts that sold me a room for whatever, handed me this, and I went up the stairs. I am locking the door. And I'm not touching any of these beds. I'm sleeping on my sleeping bag and getting up early. It is like 1.30. So anyway, I'm not going to sleep very soundly tonight.